serves as a hub for players to access any of the eight new worlds in Infinity Blade 3. Let's take a look at a few of those worlds now. Now, in Infinity Blade 3, you play as two characters. This is Issa, a stealthy warrior thief. Each of these environments is huge, extremely detailed, and filled with rich and rewarding gameplay. And each of these areas is as big or bigger than the entirety of the first Infinity Blade. Now, this is all running real time, with each of these complex environments being loaded almost instantly. That's over five times faster than on an iPhone 5. Now watch, we'll literally just fade to black, unload this, and boom, load in an entirely new world, just like that. The 64-bit architecture of the new A7 chip is so efficient, I literally did a double take the first time I saw how fast it loaded. Now, typically converting software to 64-bit is a lengthy, painstaking process. But with Apple's excellent tools, it took you how long, Jeremy? Two hours. Two hours, by himself. <laughs> Now, Cyrus and Issa have joined forces to take down the Deathless and the Worker of Secrets. With OpenGL ES 3.0, we can now combine advanced rendering effects that you've only before seen in film. Things like depth of field and blur and full screen vignettes. We can even now add lens flares that would make J.J. Abrams proud. <laughs> Yes, and his armor even reflects the environment. So if anybody is known for its big, epic boss battles, but we wanted to do something bigger. Something that would even make this troll afraid for its life. Now this new boss eats the old boss for lunch. <laughs> Now, remember, this, this is running real time. This is, this is absolutely not a movie. Jeremy is fighting this dragon right now on the iPhone 5S. Okay, so when we first got our hands on the new iPhone, I was blown away by how much we could throw at it. We literally just kept turning on feature after feature, and still there was power to spare. For example, we were able to add four times the detail to this dragon. I, mean, I want you to notice the rows of razor sharp teeth and the, the ridges of bony, bony spine up its back. I really think that this represents a sea change for our industry. Alright Jeremy, let's see if you have what it takes to slay the dragon.